everybody, this is Carol from 3 Kid Crop Shop. Today I have a fun video that is using the Winter Woodland Cricut cartridge. And today we're going to make a really cute gift bag for a stocking. This one's for my daughter Hannah. What's really nice about this is I used all of my scraps that I had um, in a big box. In fact, I'll show you. Big box of scraps. <laughs> and I know all you scrappers and crafters and card makers out there do have a lot of those type of things. Um, on my blog, and I'll have a, um, a link to it, to this video, we'll have all the measurements, but I will go through all those measurements right now. I'm using the squirrel from the Winter Woodland. It is so cute. Really simple. The first thing I did was cut out this squirrel of three and one fourth inch and then I ended up doing the shift, the um, layers for this part of the squirrel and the top of the acorn. I have a ton of paper bags that I've had for a long time and you can purchase them like at the Dollar Tree store or you can even get them at a huge box of them at Sam's Club or Costco or even Michael's or Joann's uh, the store Joann's because I know they carry them to, there too what I did was that I got my little guy all cut out all the different pieces and I just use a glue stick. It's acid free and photo safe, but I purchased a bunch of these from the Dollar Tree store near my home. And this is all I do. Just get this on here. And my little guy to it. And the fun thing about having a Cricut, because I have an expression too, I've had it for a couple of years, is uh, the fact that there are so many things you can do with it. And if you are tight with finances like a lot of people are, a lot of us, <laughs> and you have a Cricut, the original, the create, or even the expression, you can just do so much with it and create some really cute things for your kids. Um, I just colored in the nose a little bit. And then I do the little eye. Now I'm gonna, going to do my bag. Set this aside. I have a strip. This one is, the height is too two and a half inches and it depends on what the length is going to be due to what uh, size bag that you're using so I just take this put some glue on it and don't be afraid to put the glue on it and just put it on there, then I'll do my solid strip. I also have a crocodile too that I punch the holes with. See, I did it like that. Um, it's actually easier than a hole punch, but if you don't have a crocodile or a crocodile too, just use that hole punch, whatever you may have. And there's the strip. And then when I place my little squirrel on here, I'm going to get it just right. Put go on it. Oops. And I'll do my little acorn. And I'm going to actually set my acorn right underneath. 
almost cross hand. Then I'll take my black pen and I'll write my son's name. There you have it. You have a really cute goodie bag to put in a stocking or even if you wanted to use this just as your um, you know, a little gift bag. You can do that too. They would be good for candies, um, cookies, anything you want to put in them. And then I'm going to tie some ribbon through here. I hope you enjoyed this fun idea. Make sure to stop by my blog, 3kidcropshop.blogspot.com. Have a great day and a Merry Christmas.